I bet you've been getting some nice shots. 
Oh, I've got video on at the moment. Have you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I should... No, it's all right. I, I, I take it all out because of the, the wind gets in the microphone. Oh, and I've got music to it afterwards. So. Yeah. yeah. There's been quite a bit of activity going on. Absolutely. Actually. It's marvellous here. Yeah, I'm waiting for that one to go out over there at five. What, that big one? The brilliance of the seas, yeah. That's a big one, isn't it? That's uh, about 12 deco, 11 or 12 deco, that one, yeah. And that's way down the river, isn't it? That's down at Parks and Key, yeah. yeah. To stick up like that, that must be big. Yeah. There's been several in just lately, there's been... Oh, lovely. Um... Middle of the Pacific. Sorry? I couldn't moor in the middle of the Pacific. I tried yeah. to the north of the Bronx, so I was hopeless. No. But it's practice, I only done it once. You see he's taking up the slack there now. The one at the back there on the stern has, has got the slack as well. So he's holding it back and this one has just got it enough so that if he wants to pull it forward a bit he can do so. Oh that's brilliant. See the effect you get of the sun, you know, shining down on the estuary now. So you've got everything sort of glittering, you know. Definitely. So whereabouts are you from then? London. Whereabouts? Oh, Wanstead in... Uh... Oh, I know Wanstead, yeah. Do you? Yeah, it's a nice area. Well, I haven't been down there for yonks, actually. So you're not far from Chingford then, are you? That's right, near Chingford. And I've seen Harwich on the uh, A12 road signs. It was only last year I visited here and Harwich. And what lovely views of the big ships. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't come here years ago. Mm -hmm. I could watch them all day. Well, you can see that there's uh, quite a few on board there because the red line right running down the bottom, sometimes when they're coming in, like, you look at that Mediti one, the second one from the end. Yes. That's well out of the water because there's not many containers on board. But uh, this one here has uh, got quite a few on because she's sitting well in the water and there's obviously some weight in those containers as well. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Sometimes they come in and just pick up empty boxes and move them on to another port somewhere there. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, there's a shortage of steel at the moment, would you believe? Um, so all of these containers that sit in the quay here, once they come in from the Far East or somewhere, they've all got to be shipped back out again somewhere else, uh, so they can be filled up again. Right, yeah. I'm with you, yeah. Now I'm sure I saw this one about two weeks ago, just on the end here. But that one is, that one is going in on the end there. And so she will be going right down to the very bottom, I reckon. All I come here for was to get her a timetable for the, oh, for the ferry boat to Harwich. Yeah. They've run out in the, the lady said it is running, so I'll come to Yeah, I saw, it, uh, I saw the, it earlier. what time was that, to uh, Happens to, was it? I think we right. got down there about that time and it was coming in then. I was going to ask you actually, but I thought well, I've got the bike for going there. Haven't they got any on the end here? They used to. They did have a sign of times than that last year. There's yeah. no sign this year. Yeah. Oh, I can wait and watch this. So when you go over the other side, what do you do when you go over there? Then? Well, I've only been to Harwich once last year. I'll, I'll have a, I'll take my bike. I'll have a little look around Harwich, little historic bits and pieces. Yeah. Then I'll go up to Dover Court. I yeah. sit there and watch some of these ships because yeah. it's quite high up there, isn't it? Yeah, well, if you go over there where the green sward is, that's a good viewpoint from I there see. Yeah. because you can see them coming down the channel, you know, oh, yeah. from yeah, down the uh, shipping lane. Well, I'll go there then. And uh, where the tug is now, right behind there, if you go along from Harwich to Dovercourt, yes. you've got all the old uh, fort things, you know, the fortifications. Right. Um, well, quite I'll interesting actually if you're interested in that sort of thing. Yeah, I love seeing them, yeah. And then you've got the high and the li low lighthouse there. Um, you can see those from here, well, they're behind the vessel at the moment. Um, 
and uh, the Mayflower set safe sail from there when she went to America. Did she? And if you have a look on some of the buildings, you'll see Christopher Jones, the ship's captain of the Mayflower, that um, resided in one of those uh, houses as these blue clerks. In Harwich? In Harwich, yeah. Samuel Pepys lived there. Did he? Yeah. And there's, just to, uh, to the stern, to the left of the stern yes. now, there's a tower there That's to it. the right of the cruise ship. Yep. That's the High Lighthouse. That's a, a radio museum now. Is it? Mm. Yeah, and directly behind the tug's funnel, that is the low lighthouse. It's a white painted circular thing. And then if you go all the way down... I can just see it. Mm. Yeah, if you go all the way down past the breakwater, going down towards the end of Dover Court itself, yes. there's uh, a couple of old lighthouses in, actually in the water. Well, one is right on the shore, oh. and the other one is just in the water. But, um,